I know. Hi, good. Good. That's really good. Your hands are empty. You want to just do a quick clap? For a sink. All right. Excellent. We are here with Fun Really Nation Presents, and we are here with a band, Leaving Lifted. How are you guys doing? Fantastic, Fantastic. man. Thank you for having us. Thanks Appreciate for it. No problem. Thank you guys for playing. It was a lot of fun. Uh, do you mind nice. going through and uh, introducing yourselves and what you play? Sure. Sure thing. Uh, so I'm Josh, uh, guitars, uh, vocals. Um, yeah. Tom Foolery. Yeah, gen- gen- generalized Tom Foolery. We'll, we'll go with that. I dig it. I'm Eric. I play Hammond organ uh, when it's working. And then I swap it up with something else if it's not. But yeah, organs and keyboards and stuff. I'm Marty Gagno. I play bass. I do vocals. Sean, I play the drums. Fucking awesome. Um, I, I could label your guys' sound, and you can correct me if that's cool. Like, But uh, kind of reggae jam bands? Like, it, w- Would you guys get more specific than that? Because some people get insulted by jam bands. No, no, that's okay. Well, it was more jammy today because we didn't have our singer. <laughs> yeah. oh, we we, we singer. jammed no, it out, dude. So we're stretching out. <laughs> we we <laughs> don't had three hours to kill. We don't have like a firm singer right now. We have different kind of featured vocalists, and we were going to feature one tonight, and he fell asleep and missed the the ride across the state. Yeah. So we had to riff. So that meant stretching some songs a little bit and doing. Put them on blast right now. Ooh. Uh, we'll leave it. No, no, we'll leave it. No, no, no. <laughs> no sorry, that, that was me. No, no, you're all right. It's uh, we just had some member changes, so we've been featuring vocalists yeah. lately, and it's, it's been great, man. And he's awesome, but uh, it just it happened, and we rose over the occasion, and it is what it is, man. I didn't even know this. It was fucking awesome. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, we all doubled We're, down on some vocals tonight, but <laughs> we can make up for it. Yeah. That no, was great. Um, I, I did have like specific questions for you about covers because you guys have some fucking amazing covers. I know you have a lot of great originals, but specifically the fifty four forty six, dude. Uh, that, that's off. The, like I, that was my first album, Forty Us the Freedom, when I was like, oh, like, oh yeah, old. man, like, yeah, and, brother. And that song, like when you played, it, not only was it a good cover, but it was like you're also your own song. Like, thank it, you. It sounded as much like your own song as it was a cover. Thank but, you. But uh, how do you guys go about uh, picking covers and approaching them? That one's a little different. It starts out as an organ-driven co- uh, cover from Leslie Butler called Revival. Yeah. And it's uh, Leslie Butler Revival. It's like a 60s Jamaican tune. Yep. That's really like organ heavy. And then we turned it's it... It's also a cover of a gospel tune. Yeah, yeah. cover of a gospel tune. <laughs> so, but uh, just in like the writing process, we kind of heard the 54, 46, so we kind of turned it into a medley of sorts and uh, touched on like the toots, you know, original and senses, but uh, it's definitely like a combo for sure between yeah. toots and sublime, so... For sure. Yeah, man. I'm glad you dug it. Oh, dude, I loved it. Like, um, are there any other like, you know, covers that you... Tr- like, uh, how do you go about the process of picking a cover? Like, because does somebody just come in... Like saying, like, I really we have like a like group song, text. Or? We have a group yeah. text where we send each other like, "Oh, we got to do this." Yeah, or this singer, <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. this singer would crush this song. Or so whatever. it's weird. Yeah, cause we'll do like you know '60s Jamaican, you know, or we'll like the like Jackie Matu organ stuff, and then but we we'll depend on the vocalist. Like we have a uh, woman Nikki that we work with where we play like Sade and uh, that kind of stuff. Gap and then, band uh, stuff like that. Yeah, gap band and um, so there's a funk element in soul we've been working on too. Yeah, which we weren't able to have like. Uh, Tonight, but like, uh, like when it's just the four of us, it's mostly just reggae. But like, we try to hit it all, like rockers, reggae, and, like the one drops and uh, the skinhead stuff, and I don't yeah, know, try to hit the gamut, I guess. Yeah, like how much improv- improvisation goes along with your music? Tonight was like ninety five percent. It's very like like very much like we, jazz in that jazz. jazz. Respect, yeah. yeah, we like I went to school for jazz at uh, University of Cincinnati, like mm-hmm. for upright bass, cool. and like learning how to basically follow like what's the form of the song, you know, play the lead solo, 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 play the lead and you're out kind of thing, and so we basically do that with reggae. Reggae was already kind of versioning itself in so many different ways. It like really lends itself to like dub and versioning and then that kind of history yes. of iteration of songs and this person sings on this one and then it changes a little and this person on this one so we really feel like that's like an extension of jazz too mm-hmm. so jazz and reggae really intersect in this like cool way there and we try to hit that if you know about Delvon Lamar organ trio where we're like really into that sound yeah, he's too. like Booker T like a modern day modern Booker day Booker T, T. Yeah. it's like drums so organ cool. and, uh, and guitar, guitar. And they just crush. So Scream in Oregon. Like, we're like that, but for reggae. I think when I'm telling people what we sound like, I'm like, think of the Delvon Lamar organ trio, but like reggaefied. Like Jack, Jackie Matu playing for them or something. Yes. Yeah. So if you know who Jimmy Smith is, if you know who Jackie Matu are, these are like famous organists. I, I'll be looking these guys up like tomorrow when I'm editing. <laughs> you've heard, you've heard, I know you've heard of the Scottalites, right? Way back. 
like 60s Jamaican kind of stuff. He shook his head, yes. No, he shook his head, yes, guys. So this is what's kind of crazy is when I started playing with Sean, like he knew all this old Jamaican stuff and it, we really hit it off because he knew how to play these beats. So you got to have a drummer that can do those things and that's all, the hardest thing to find is the drummer. A drummer that knows how to play like African beats and travel beats and Jamaican beats. Yeah. Like most drummers here can't do that. We just did what we just did that. We did it. We had another feature last night. We were in Royal Oak uh, at Bolero, and there was one song in particular in this set where Sean had. I think there was a. It was a soca. It was like a soca beat. Yeah, yeah, like so, on so, the so. fly, yeah. he flips it to like more like of an, an Afrobeat Afro kind of thing. It's just like different like, it, yeah. world rhythms. It's yeah. like different world rhythms. He's been getting a lot into go go too, and he's been crushing it, dude. Just pure it, limb independence, man. I know it's how just, he does it. it. It's just <laughs> the stuff I listen to, you know. So it's like it's not like uh, some. I mean, people that listen to rock are good at rock. So that's, it's just, right. like, that's just what I like listen to in my free time. That's so right. It's like, he's too kind. He's a beast. <laughs> how do you guys find each other? You guys seem like a really tight group. We are, man. These guys were a band first. Yep. Yeah, uh, we formed Leaving Lifted together back in 2011. College teenagers. Yeah, we met in uh, Humanities freshman year and just Which went out from there. Uh, Macomb. Uh, Macomb community, man. Yeah, baby. <laughs> the Monarchs. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, from there went on, and then Eric and Sean linked up, and they started. Recently. Like, I, yeah. I started playing with Sean at the beginning of COVID, mm-hmm. and I'm like, hey, I'm in a band called The Tellways. We played here, by the way, The Tellways did. And I'm like, come play drums for us. And similarly, he's like, uh, you know, let's start recording together and eventually join this band. So we kind of like swap bands. Yeah. And that brought me, like, brought Marty into the loop and Josh came into the loop through Sean's connection. So we, we were like, we're the tightest, like, the talent is all here. You know what? We don't need anybody else. If we bring in a singer, like, we can learn their whole set in like a day and a half. And like, at three practices, we can back up somebody. You know what I mean? So, like, that is not a thing you can find. So we move fast. Like, and I don't want to bring up like it, it wasn't it wasn't a your guys's problem, but there was definitely like an issue on stage with a mic, and I just loved how you guys just rolled with this. Like, all right, let's start that up again. I think it was with Pawn Shop. Yeah, but, yeah. yeah. And yep. again, another Sublime song that's near and dear to my yeah. heart. Right? Yeah. Actually, um, yeah, yeah, we definitely went straight Sublime. I love that song, man. Yeah. Actually, yeah. we had an amp. Like, we played three sets tonight. And one of the last two songs, an amp, like I was like, you could touch the floor and it back. It was making weird noises. So we just swapped it on the fly real quick. You just gotta do what you gotta do, man. We, we, and the we Hammond didn't work yesterday. Yeah. And I, I had to run home and get another organ. Oh, so that's what you brought yeah. up? Like, when yeah, the yeah, yeah, yeah. Working. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I should have, that was like a joke. We with no fought through a lot of adversity for two days. Yeah, which, in two days, we had a lot of like things we had to like roll through, like a singer not showing up. So, like, yeah. that, we, we can do that. Now, this dude recently got a chopped Hammond, though, which is the coolest thing. So we're, we're like, tour ready with a Leslie and a Hammond. You, you saw us, how sweaty we got lifting it into this place. You know? still, I mean, I you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank, thank God you, yeah, you're a big dude. Yeah. It's at least three, <laughs> yeah. it's at least a three person job to get a hand, like a legit Hammond. And it's chopped. Vintage it's still Hammond. that heavy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so it's a lot of work, but like there's no substitute for that sound. There's yeah. no, like there's the digital version of that is not. It sounded great. Thanks, yeah. man. So it's a special thing. It's a thing you hear in like a church, you know, or some, you know, I don't know. And the elements it, it provides to even like old school rock, dimension, funk, and soul, and yeah. authentic Sorry. reggae. Yeah. It's God's dimension. tremendous, man. And the bubble he can get out of that thing is just. I listen to a lot of that old stuff, so I just cop, you know, like kind of do my version of it. Oh, dude, that's great. Like, so you guys are from Detroit area? Are you all from Detroit area? Yep, all Macomb, Detroit. He's in Warren. We all live in that area. Like yeah. we're not all from that area, but yeah. yeah. I know. Uh, yeah, you said you were from. Like, you were I live in Cincinnati. Cleveland. Yeah, that's right. I went to school in Cincinnati. Yeah, that's right. I'm like oh, a, I'm a Rust Belt guy. Yeah. I'm a Rust Belt guy for sure. But I grew up in Cleveland. Oh, that's great. Yeah, man. What's the music scene like out there right now? In Cleveland? Oh, or, or, or in Detroit. Uh, <laughs> oh, I'm like, shit, I don't know. Like, I was going to say Detroit, but like, I should get some more specifics. No, no, no. It yeah. has its spots, no doubt. I mean, and, uh, you know, there's some cool better. venues. Um, it just depends on the genre, honestly. Yeah. Yeah, it, yes, I mean, and also like a lot of the local festivals yeah. are really good. Yeah. The local festivals um, are fantastic. People put some yeah. good stuff together. Um, <laughs> Jamie Wilkins. Yeah, no, 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 no. I, was thinking, I was just thinking about her. Yeah, yeah. yeah JWA Jamie Associates. We've heard of Arts Beats and Eats, so we're playing that, that this year. We got a really nice spot, like Saturday night, like prime time, eight to nine. So we're doing a set that's it's uh, you know it's a, uh, so Labor, Labor Day, Day weekend, weekend. So in Royal Oak. 
Oh, really? Okay, I'll try to get this video out soon enough. That's probably well, well, that's okay. That's okay, good, bro. You're good. Uh, people can see what shows we got coming up on our social media and everything. Yep. Oh, yeah. How do we get a hold of you guys? Uh, you can find us on Facebook, Leaving Lifted, Instagram. iTunes, Instagram, Spotify, Spotify. All the platforms, Leaving Lifted. Every platform, yeah, man. Yep. Mm -hmm. See, we usually end on that sort of question, but let's end on, like, do you guys have any fun stories? Like, anything that comes to mind? Any... <laughs> Shit. Wait, what route know, do you want to go down? We like, <laughs> we like playing, like, four-player Mario Kart a whole lot after practice. That's a favorite thing we do. <laughs> yeah. A lot of grass in Mario Kart. Smoke weed and play Mario yeah. Kart. It's a thing we do. <laughs> and old Jamaican records. Oh, yeah, put on old, like, you know, well, Gregory Fiala Isaacs Cudi. and stuff. Yeah, Fela Cudi. Yeah, Fela Cudi. Yeah, yeah. 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 Nuclear yeah. fucking doobies. <laughs> nuclear doobies, yes. No. High power shit. I'm talking. So, what, yeah, so, yeah, let's talk some records. Like, what are some stuff that, like, you know, you Take think it. that everybody should listen to? I'm like a vinyl head and have a whole lot of turntables in a collection. <laughs> I'm like a big vinyl nerd, right? So, I have kind of like the... Uh, Jamaican stuff to me, I like the like roots reggae stuff. I listen to a, like um, the Mighty Diamonds yes. and Gregory Isaacs and uh, the Heptones and the Techniques and like uh, these are all like Jamaican kind of vocal harmonies and kind of just 60s, 70s stuff. Yeah, man. Also like Afrobeat stuff. Uh, I love like you know. Um, you know, Fela Kuti and that kind of stuff. And I've been playing, when we're playing Mario Kart, I'm usually putting on like a Fela Kuti record or something because just Afrobeat sounds are just so grooving, man. It's like mm -hmm. such a groove we want to capture. The song's like 27 minutes. Yeah, the whole side there. of the album is a song. It's like, <laughs> yeah. Fela Kuti is like the African James Brown. So, and in like the heyday of like crazy kind of, anyway. You got to see, like you got to hop on YouTube and see some of the stuff. Yeah. It's madness. There's like, like 30 Kuti people live. on stage and he has like 10 to 15 wives are all on stage with <laughs> it's him. It's like dancers. Like, yeah, it's no, cool. seriously, man. It's a whole experience. Yeah. And he married his backup insane. dancers. Yeah, he married all of his backup all dancers. Of <laughs> in a ceremony. <laughs> all of them. Yeah, it's so like, a crazy awesome time. He, he orchestrates the whole thing like James, man. It's really impressive. Yeah. And he I, he, I had no idea who he was till he showed me. I'm like, he's awesome. Man. Yeah. And the way that James Brown is like, you know, kind of steers the band and plays a keyboard or do this, the, like, you know, plays. He sings, Bella plays Cudi's a horn, and, and plays sax. Like composer. Yeah. yeah, like yeah. steering the band, and everyone's dancing, and he brings everyone down. He's, like, conducting it at and the same tight. time. And it's tight. It's like, oh, it's man, tight, it's dude. magic watching yeah. him do it. Yeah. It really is. Well, I'm, and now I realize what the final question really should be is, when you guys play Mario Kart, what's your go-to character? One after the other. I am partial, actually, to Boo or Bowser. I like both. I like either one of those guys. I've been Link, like the different Link. I don't know why. <laughs> Mario in the Tanuki suit. I don't oh, know why. Old school. Bowser, because there's a serious misconception with the <laughs> large characters. <laughs> because they're not fast, but they are more controlled and they are better. Yeah, You'll I'm score better. You don't fall you off the side of Rainbow down. Road with the big boys. Rainbow so, Road. Yeah. <laughs> I, I will stand by that. Yeah. Not bad, man. And he actually has snuck in a few races. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Shoot right by you. <laughs> well, man, I really appreciate you guys coming and playing. I really appreciate you guys sitting down and talking. This Dude, great. Thank, thank you so much for your hospitality. Thanks, thanks for you. having so us, man. No problem, man. Cheers. 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 Thank you. <laughs> thanks for having us. Have a good night. You, you too. too. Yeah, man, this was great. I can't wait to be back, for real.